in the last lecture we saw what are trojans and we have a brief introduction about trojans in this lecture we will see different types of trojans and how these trojans work so before moving ahead with the types of trojans let us first see an example of how a trojan can affect a system so the first step is an attacker sends an email to a victim containing link to the trojan server the victim clicks the link and immediately connects to the trojan server in xyz country then the trojan is sent to the victim from the server victim installs the trojan infecting his machine and finally attacker connects to the victim's machine because the user himself or herself has given permission that is why security experts always tell you to pay the price for legitimate softwares rather than just downloading it for free the first trojan is the remote access trojan which is a very common trojan these days and you might have heard of this term often what is a remote access trojan a remote access trojan works like a remote desktop access hacker gains complete gui access to the remote system consider an example jason the attacker infects alice's computer with server.exe file and plants a reverse connecting trojan the trojan connects the port 80 to the attacker in russia establishing a reverse connection therefore jason the attacker has complete control over rebecca's machine a common example of a remote access trojan is nj rat nj rat is a remote access trojan that can download and execute additional malware execute shell commands read and write registry keys capture screenshots lock key strokes spy on webcams and many more other examples of rat include mo sucker pro rat thief lsm do kd rat pc rat or ghost netwire java rat and many more there are specific tools to create a remote access trojan and as you can see on door trojans what is a backdoor trojan a backdoor is a program which bypasses the system's customary security mechanisms to gain access to a restricted area of a computer system backdoors are used by the attacker to have uninterrupted access to the target machine a great example of a backdoor trojan is poison ivy poison ivy gives the attacker practically complete control over the infected computer once the backdoor is executed it copies itself to the either windows folder or the windows system 32 folder the next type of trojan that we are going to see is rootkit trojan right rootkit compared to the other backdoors rootkit cannot be detected by observing services system task list or registries rootkit consists of three components a dropper a loader and a rootkit itself examples of rootkits are whistler cpd grayfish wingbird etc if you really have interest you can go over the google and search these types of rootkits
large number of computers across a large geographical area to create a network of bots that is used to launch various attacks on a victim including denial of service attacks, email spamming, click fraud and the theft of financial information. The next trojan is very interesting. It is very common these days. That is the e-banking trojan. E-banking trojans as the name suggests and control center. It steals victims data such as credit card, CVV number, billing details, account number, bank details, passwords, email, etc. Then how a e-banking trojan works? Well, they can work through grabbers, form grabber which collects e-banking trojan can work. The next type of trojan that we are going to see is a proxy server trojan. Well, as the name suggests, trojan proxy is usually a standalone application that allows remote attackers to use the victim's computer as a proxy to connect to the internet. Let us consider Bob has attacked Alice's computer via a trojan and has placed a proxy. So to do any miss illegal activities, Bob accesses the internet via Alice's computer telling the internet that Alice is doing commands on behalf of Job so that I am sorry on behalf of Bob so that Bob's real identity is hidden. The next type of trojan is a defacement trojan. Defacement trojan allow a user to view edit, extract and replace strings, bitmap, logos and icons from any windows program. They allow attackers to view and edit almost any aspect of a compiled windows program. So all these trojans are very destructive in nature. There are other trojans like mobile trojan, internet of things trojan, destructive trojans, hacking trojans and many more. 